Meanwhile, back at the tunnel, Penny was feeling very sorry, angry, and embarrassed all at the same time. Oh, great job, Penny. You decided to be a rubble and stay in the tunnel until the rain ends. And now look where it end up, Jeff. You're all stuck in it. Oh man, I was very foolish. Especially I should have not called the controller old man. Oh, I hope he can forgive me and let me come back out and pull trains again. Poor Penny began to cry. And what made things worse is that the controller put a new switch that automatically switches as soon as it detects an engine. But soon trouble was ahead. Charlie was coming down the hill by the switch. The extra rate of the freight cars was making him go too fast down the hill. The switch didn't detect Charlie in time. The switch switched when Charlie was on it, making him go off the rails and leave his freight cars off on the other line. Charlie's crew put bars on the wheels of the cars so they wouldn't go down the hill. Charlie was in disgrace. Oh great, I'm off the line. Cause it's this stupid switch. Oh, and there's Penny laughing at me. <laughs> oh, just in your face when you let off the line. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, you can't pull the train without an engine, so looks like you need me now. Not so fast, Penny. Did you forget? Nigel also works here with me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nigel was resting in the siren preparing for Charlie's next train. Until Charlie's crew told Nigel's crew about the incident, Nigel was happy. He had to go push the trucks back to the yards. So Charlie fell off the rails and now he needs my help to push the train back to the yards. He stated, Don't worry, I'll come to save the day. And he went over to the scene. Nigel arrived on the scene. Here I come to save the day! He sang as he coupled up to the freight cars. Nigel pushed them, puffed them, pushed them, puffed. But it wasn't strong enough to push the heavy freight cars. Oh, very good job, Nigel. You pushed those cars good. Oh, wait a minute. They're still here. Hey, at least I wasn't the one that fell off the rails because of a switch. Charlie couldn't reply that. Word of the situation got to the controller, and he drove over to the scene at once. Oh great, now I got another problem to deal with. First one of my engines decides to become a rebel, and now another engine falls off the line. <sighs> Being a controller is very harder than I thought. Sir! It wasn't my line I fell off the rails, it was the switch! Charlie, do not blame technology for your accidents. B -b 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 oh. The controller observed the situation and knew that Nigel could not push the train by himself. So, he decided to go over to Penny. Penny, you're the only engine left. I will let you out of the tunnel now, but let this experience teach you that work becomes before beauty. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll never do this again, sir. And you'll never call me old man again. Yes, sir. I'll never do that again, too, sir. So Penny's crew returned back to their old train, and they started to prepare her fire. When Penny got enough steam, she puffed out. She was dirty and full of cobwebs. She groaned. Have a job to ease your joints and find a turntable, said the controller. When Penny came back, she felt much better. Then they coupled her up. I'm ready. Pull so hard, hard, we can do it. Pull hard, we can do it. As they puff together.
We've done it together! We've done it together! They cheered. The control drove by and weighed three hunts for Penny and Nigel. But the train was going so fast, he nearly crashed into a tobacco field. They didn't stop until they reached the yards. 